As demand for individual mobility rises, so does consumption of natural resources like fossil fuels. But supplies of oil and gas are finite, and they pollute the environment. There is no shortage of ideas for eco-friendly engines, but it doesn't look like the car industry has a plan for radically reducing CO2 emissions anytime soon. Audi is intensifying its focus on developing plug-in hybrid powertrains that combine conventional combustion engines and electric motors. Siegfried Pint, leader of Audi's electric motor research unit, says there will be a combination of powertrains. Conventional engines will endure for years or decades for some models, but electric motors will become mainstream too. Audi is actively advancing e-mobility. Recently, the automaker introduced a second plug-in hybrid model to join the A3 e-tron, the Q7. Short jaunts like inner city driving can be done using only electric power. But on longer journeys of over 50 kilometers, the regular combustion engine has to kick in. Audi's A7 h-tron Quattro does away with the combustion engine altogether and is powered by fuel cells. The drive system uses a chemical reaction to turn hydrogen into water and electricity. This in turn powers the A7's electric motor. If and when the A7 H-Tron will go into mass production is unclear. Audi says there are still too few hydrogen fuel stations to make the fuel cell vehicle a mainstream success. Pint says that fuel cells are strategically promising. That's because they build on conventional electricity-powered cars with batteries and electric powertrains. Audi's e-tron Quattro concept car is the manufacturer's first attempt at designing an all-electric vehicle. The volume production model is expected to be launched in 2018. It has a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack, enough for a range of over 500 kilometers. Combined output will be at least 320 kilowatts. The battery capacity is crucial for the car's range. Audi sees potential for improvements here. Lithium-ion batteries are still in their infancy. In the near future, development chief Reinhard Hoffmann expects that energy density will increase, while prices will drop a little. These new technological frontiers also allow for new developments in the car's design. Interior designer Maximilian Fischhaber says that they can break apart the center console to create space since the entire powertrain and transmission are gone, and gradually this should be reflected in the design. All of the displays feature OLED technology, meaning that the wafer-thin screens can be cut to any size or shape. The advantage, according to the designer, is that they can give our architecture the desired shape and make the OLED elements and the display to match. That gives his team lots of creative freedom and makes for progressive design. Pop-out cameras replace the outside mirrors, which saves on weight. On the hood and at the rear, electronically controlled aerodynamic elements regulate the airflow as necessary. Siegfried Pint says the optimized exterior is 70 to 75 percent finished, so you can expect to see this figure and these design characteristics when the car goes into series production. All electric cars are the future, but at present electricity is still largely generated in power plants. Whether it's produced by burning coal or gas or through nuclear technology, all of these means of generating electricity are harmful to the environment. The key to creating truly eco-friendly electric cars is to harness more energy from renewable sources, such as wind, water, and the sun, because electricity is also needed to produce the hydrogen for fuel cell vehicles. There's still a long road ahead before cars can truly be considered emissions-free.